morning and happy Saturday. I know I haven't been out here in a while. So I said that I'm going to make a video. I think the last video I made was about my son going to the doctor to get his yearly exam and stuff. So I showed you guys that and stuff. But today I've been dreading this video here. I've been didn't know I was gonna. I, I didn't know if I wanted. To, I wanted to make it or not. Cause I'm gonna make another video after this, a reaction video. Cause I've been dreading that video too. But I said I need to get back on here and try to do something to keep my mind off my mom. Birthday is coming up, and I've been trying to fight the depression. It's trying to come on, and then my allergies been. It just been a lot of stuff been kicking my butt, and. I've been wanting to do the videos. Then when I try to do the videos, I get in that funk. And some of you guys know what I'm talking about. The ones that got an illness. They know what I'm talking about and stuff. But this person that really hurt my feelings is my friend, my ex. You guys know I've been talking about him. I don't, don't want to mention his name or nothing. Because he's really not a friend anymore. And I'm stepping away from that and stuff. I try to be, we try to be friends, but he take, people take advantage of the of friendship and stuff. And they try to walk over it. And I they let that happen so many times. And I said, not anymore. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of folks taking my kindness for weakness and stuff. And try to step, make a fool out of me. Then when they make a fool out of you, they think I don't supposed to say nothing. They think I supposed to just sit back and let them do it and, and just say, forget it. But... On my birthday, before my birthday, he know I like to plan things ahead of time. I like to tell everybody what I'm going to do. But I always have a plan A and a plan B. Just in case plan A don't have work out, I always have a plan B. Yes, I'm a little frustrated today. Because I've been holding this in and I've been holding this in. And I've been biting my tongue. But I'm tired of biting my tongue. I let I already text him. I just sat back and <laughs> see what was going to happen. So... I had told him for my birthday that I wanted some money to cash out me some money. You guys, I know I told y'all a while back. I, I only thing I wanted from you guys was a happy birthday from you guys. And that's what y'all did. I didn't ask nothing from y'all. Only thing I said oh, I, who I want something from was my family and him. So my family did their job. He did he didn't do his job. I want a little date night, a little a little video date night with him because the folks that didn't know he travels out of town and he lives out of town. He go from state to state, state to state, working. But the ones that don't know, he's a he he's an electrician person, and he travels from state to state. But I made a video a while back, a good while back, about him. He gonna get mad because he finally has saw that video, but he don't, he don't watch my videos no more, and I don't care. I don't know if his kids watch my videos no no more or not. I don't I don't care either, because this video right here, I'm not gonna dog him out. I'm not gonna bash him out. I'm just gonna say my piece about him, and that's it. I already told him my piece, but I'm not gonna bash him or or treat him like no dog. But I'm just gonna say my piece, and that's it. So. My birthday had came. He knew. Like I said, I told him I wanted him to cash out me some money and do a video date with me because he lives out of town. He said, okay. And, and he both had sent me a nice little text and stuff because, you know, he always gives me a gift on my birthday and stuff. But this year I wanted money from him and stuff. So he, uh, he said, okay, fine. So just like all the other times, my birthday came, and it was on that Sunday. You know, you guys know it was on that Sunday, the 29th of August. So he going to call me on that Friday talking about this lame-ass excuse. I'm not going to say what the lame-ass excuse was, but he was talking about He didn't come out and say that he don't have no money. All thing you need to do is be a man. Be a man about it. Just say, Sonya, or babe, boo, or whatever. Well, Kaylin, close the door. Close the bubble, so I want you to know what's out there. That uh, I don't have the money. 
something came up. I won't be able to do the I won't be able to give you the money, but we can still do the video date and stuff. And I would have said, cool, fine. But just be a man. Don't beat around the bush. Don't play. Are you trying to get your stuff? Get your thing, baby. That's what you wanted. And uh just be a man about it and stuff because that's all I ask. Just be honest. If you can't be honest. We can't be friends. We're not in a relationship. No, we just can't be friends no more. Because I don't need no, I don't need no beating around the bush, no lying, or none of that doggone crap. Because I came up there for your birthday and stuff. I told y'all guys what happened up there. I came and helped you celebrate your birthday and everything and all like that. And all like that. So, but... You can't help me celebrate my birthday. So this, so I, uh, so I, I kind of putting a little two and two together and stuff. I'm like, I just know this, this man ain't trying to throw out no hint saying he ain't got no dog on money and stuff. So I just said nothing. So I said, my friend Anthony told me, just see what he gonna do, Sonya. So I said, okay. So Sunday came. I haven't heard from him. My dentist had texted me. I got emails. You guys told me happy birthday. My family told me happy birthday. My friends on Facebook told me happy birthday. My friends on Instagram told me happy birthday. Everybody was telling me happy birthday except this man. So I texted him on that evening, that uh, that morning. I texted him that morning and stuff. So I said, okay, really? Damn. And with a question mark behind it. So he going to text back. And sent me a picture of him and said, uh, sorry, I'm just waking up. I worked it last night. Uh, happy, happy birthday. I'll call you later. I said, what the hell? I said, I just know he just didn't do that. So that was at 940 Sunday morning on my birthday. So I said, okay. I waited, 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 I waited. Monday came. Still don't hear from this ex. Tuesday came. That's the 31st. Okay, Lonnie. Calm down, son, boo, boo. 31st came. So I said, uh-uh. I told my friend Anthony, enough is enough. I ain't heard from this man. I got a little weak-ass text. <laughs> Dinner date was canceled because I ain't had no video from him. So... When he know I am very pissed, I call his whole, whole, full name out on that text. And that's what I did. I said, thank you for a beautiful shout out. A beautiful text. Thank you for the beautiful text. Thank you for my beautiful gift. And thank you for that beautiful video date night. I loved it. And I left it at that. So he come back with this sad, sad text, trying to tell me, well, I was sick. You didn't look sick to me that day, that morning when you took that doggone picture, saying you just waking up and stuff, baby. You didn't look sick then. So where all of a sudden this sickness came from? If you were sick, you would have told me. And I would have said, okay, I understand. So he come telling me about this thing that's on his chest that's been there for decades. And he been scratching the missing one, and he never went to the doctor about it. And so he been doing his home remedy crap here and stuff. So I said, uh, well, I hope you feel better, but that still don't explain nothing about my birthday. So I know you was mad. That's why I didn't say. That's why I didn't. I didn't call. But that ain't, really, that made me even madder because you didn't text or call me or any damn thing that makes a woman even matter do it make you guys mad because i know it made me mad when a man don't do what they supposed to be doing if something wrong with you call that person or whatever and let them know that something's up or, or, or something going on and you, that you can't do it damn don't keep them hanging or, or waiting or whatever don't do that don't do that because they ain't going to do that. Piss that woman off really bad. It's going to make that person upset even more. And that's what it did. I didn't. I had to call your whole full name out on the 
first just to get your dog on attention, sir. I had to call your whole full name out just to get your dog on attention. You didn't have destiny to, to call me or anything on my birthday. And that lame ass text was, was weak as hell. It was very weak and it hurt my feelings. But when you want something, are you coming through Memphis? Oh no, you know how to text and shit then. But no more of that. Uh uh. No, no more. No. You can keep up step, baby, because this train is through. Nothing else. Because I like I said, I'm tired of like I told you told you in that text. I'm tired of you hurting my dog on feelings. When I need to talk to you. In that time, I really did need to talk to you, and I was depressed, and I was in pain, and I was hurting. You pushed me aside and told me to tell my kids to help me out. You didn't know if I needed the money or not, but I had the money, and I told you that was a real low blow. I didn't ask for you. I, didn't, I wasn't calling you for the money. only thing I needed to do was to talk to you and for you to listen to me. That's all I needed you to do. And I like, damn, really? You thought that that's what I was calling you about? I'm not nobody else, baby. I'm not them other people. They call you just for money. I was calling you because I needed a friend to talk to. And that's what was it. I don't ask you for nothing. I, I, don't, I, I don't do that. If I need something, I'm, I'm going to come out and ask you. But I thought we was better than that. I really did thought we was better than that. So, but when you need help, I drop every on thing to listen to your problems. But when I need help, you can't drop a dime. But every time you got a problem, oh no, but not anymore, boo-boo. Like I told you in that text, not anymore. I'm not going to drop nothing to listen to your problems anymore. Because... You have hurt my feelings for the damn last damn time. But let anybody else ask you for something. Oh no, you come talking, you come do this. But like I say, uh uh. You take a you take a person's kindness for weakness. We can't be friends anymore. No. No kind of friendship at all. And you can stay mad at me, you can not call. I don't care. I do not care. I'm I'm tired. I'm tired of it. I'd rather not have any friends if they're going to treat me like that. I'd rather not have any doggone friends. But I got my kids, and they will always have my back. All of them. Not partials of them, but all of them. And I don't, I don't stab people in the back, and I don't treat people like dirt. And then think I can come back to them and throw a little sad, sob story and think I'm going to forgive them. No. That's not going to work anymore. You thought because you were sick. You think, oh, well, well, I let him excuse, I excuse him from not doing date night. Only thing you had to do was be a damn man and just say, Sonya, I can't do nothing. I'm sick. And I was like, okay, fine. Or Sonya. I don't have the money this time. I had to use it for a bill. I was like, okay, fine. I understand. But damn, you gonna leave a person hanging like that and then think I posted. Then they ain't then gonna get an attitude because I got an attitude with you. <laughs> Boo, I don't care. I don't need you. I'm doing good on my damn own. I don't need you as a friend. You would need me before I would need you. You would need me first before I need you first because I have my family and my kids I can talk to about my problems and everything. And I have a, a one good true friend that I can I know I can turn to and talk to. And he listens to me and stuff. And every dog on thing. And no, we're not dating or nothing. And if I do date somebody, that's my dog on business. Just like you, I will have a hissy fit on my birthday. I sent you those doggone pictures of me. 
Oh, my dog, on birthday, you, as soon as I sent those dog on pictures, you broke your neck. Where you going? It ain't none of your dog on business. Where I'm going. It wasn't none of your dog on business, but where I was going. My kids, you knew where I was going. My kids was taking me out for my for me and my son's birthday. He was he was doing both of us at the same time. He took us out. He took me and Justin out for on that uh uh for my birthday and his birthday. My 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 boys did so because he thought because he saw me in the car had a cute little outfit on and I was fixed all up. He thought I was gonna go on. <laughs> On a date with a guy. If I was, that was my business, baby. That was my business. We're not in a relationship. We're not in a relationship. We just, we were just, we were, we put like this, we were friends, but not anymore. Because I don't care who you date and you don't supposed to care who I date because we're not in a relationship. You can't tell me who I can and be friends with and stuff. And all like that because what I do is my business and what you do is your business. We just friends. We are just friends. But yeah, you guys, I just had to get that off my dog on chest. And I told him and he now he pouted and he copped an attitude. I don't care because he copped an attitude, you guys. I really don't care. Because like I said, he got mad back then because how I told you guys on in my video how me and him broke up and how he hurt my feelings back then because how he left me hanging because if y'all ain't never seen that video go back and see it. he gonna get mad to me take that video down because you bashing me i wasn't bashing i was just telling everybody the truth about you how you did me when i found out that i had schizophrenia and stuff how i found out i had schizophrenia you, yeah you tried to help me but it was so stressful at that time i didn't know how to control it and then that medicine blew me up. That medicine blew me up. And I gained a whole lot of weight. I was almost, I was obese. I was almost at the borderline of a diabetic and stuff. And you walked away from me. Yes, you did back then. You walked away. And you never, ever told me the reason why. But I figured out on my own why you walked away. Because... You couldn't handle, you couldn't deal with my schizophrenia at that time because I was all over the place. And I gained so much weight and you was embarrassing and you was ashamed of me because I was so huge. And I wish I knew how to edit stuff and I would show you guys what I looked like back then. My face was humongous. But I'm going to put them pictures up uh, on down the line. Uh, they still in my Facebook page and stuff. They're still in my phone, and I still got, I look back at them to see, to look, just look at myself where I was back then because I will show you when me and him first met, I will number 99 pounds. Yes, when I first met that guy, when I first met my ex, I was 99 pounds. I was a little bit of skinny tap hold. Didn't, didn't know if I can gain weight or not, but I had three kids. When 99 pounds, I had three boys. And folks like, you you got kids? They were like, I said, yeah. They like, where'd they go? <laughs> where, where did your weight go to? I like, I used to work out. I was, I was a workaholic. I was a workaholic, and I used to work out like crazy back then. And everything. I was a workaholic, and I used to work out like crazy. When I was pregnant, I worked out. My doctor used to fuss at me. My Feet used to be so, my ankles used to be so swollen. But yeah. And he was used to that small. Then I, I started gaining a little weight and stuff. I used to pick up, I had a little booty. I found a got a little booty. I was so happy. My, my little boobs kind of grew some. I was so happy about that and everything. Yeah, I had a little, I had, I still had my cute little waistline and stuff. And, but I was kind of glad that I gained the weight back then. I gained some weight. Because my clothes used to fall off of me. I used to have to wear a zero. Then sometimes I used to have to go in the kids department store. A grown woman going in the kids department store to find clothes to fit her. Because adult clothes and petite clothes was too too, too uh, was still too big on me. And so when I was too, too skinny. And I, I was kind of tired of being too, too skinny. And I don't want to go back to too, too skinny. And stuff. But... 
when I got sick and everything, this man t turned away from me. He was already out of town. I was dealing with it. He had finally got to a good company. He liked it. And I was waiting on I was asking him what time, well, when was you coming back in town and everything. And he never did respond to me. He didn't tell me that he talked to these people and agreed to sign that contract to, to live out of town. But we used to talk about everything. We got opinions on everything. And before we do anything, we talked about it with each other. And then we uh, then we make up a decision. But with that, him living out of town, he did not talk to me about it because he made that decision on his own because he was ashamed of me because of my schizophrenia. And he was ashamed of me because I gained so much where I was almost at 200 pounds. And he was ashamed of me. And that hurt my feelings. And I did not know that he lived it out of town until he finally told him, Stop, Stella! Until he finally told me that that he don't live in town no more. He live from he live in hotels now from state to state to state to state and stuff. So that really hurt my feelings, and I went into deep depression then and all like that. I had already I was still dealing with the loss of my mom. And I was dealing with the, the with this illness. I didn't have nobody. My kids, I had my kids, but at that time, they were still trying to figure out about this illness. And I didn't have my family members. I was still going through all kinds of stuff trying to find myself. I was still have. I had PTSD. I finally got the PTSD under control. I was just going through so much, and then he going to dump that on me. He going to dump that on me. Because, dude, you done did so much to me. I done forgave you for so much. And I was still your friend. And, folks, my family, my friend uh, Anthony, he's kind of, he's glad that, that I don't want to be his friend no more. Because he said, you done took so much from this man, Sonya. i like, yes, I have. You done did so much from him. He's a good person, but now since he live out of town and stuff, I I I see the true him now. I see the real, the real him. But for those nineteen years, I don't know that I fell in love with this person that was there. I don't know you because we were soulmates because we clicked. We we was bonded together. We had a perfect family. I loved his kids. He loved my kids, but. But after this illness, something changed in him. And he came into this different person that don't act like when I try to talk to him about my illness, he changed the subject. He still can't cope. He still haven't wrapped his head around my illness. He claimed he had, but he hasn't. And, and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of putting it aside. I'm tired of it. And I'm not going to take no more. No more BS from him. Stella, what you doing, boo-boo? Calm down, sit down somewhere and stop walking. But like I said, I'm through with it. I'm just really through with it. I'm over it. I didn't left it alone. I hope you I wish you well. I hope you get well. I hope you do something about that that thing on your chest and get some surgery done on it and everything. And I will uh -huh. but mm mm. I'm just, like I said, you guys, I'm tired of it. Some folks out there might understand me, what I'm going through, and some folks not. But, I'm just, like I said, I'm just tired of it. And right now, like I told you once before, I'm not looking for no relationship. Only thing I've been looking for is friendship out of guys and stuff. Or, But I got a friendship. I got one person that's been friends with me, me and him. He, we just like brothers. He's way older than me. And... I'm not looking for the relationship because I it's it's a lot for me to process with my own illness. Then I I I don't have time for relationships anymore because I have to concentrate on my son and I have to concentrate on me. And it just it's a lot to process and for a person and first when a person hears about you you out you a schizophrenia. Ooh, right, you psycho, you kill, you might you might kill me. Don't kill me. And all like that. Everybody is not like that. They gotta find themselves into that into that schizophrenia person. 
it's it takes a lot yeah we have our up days we have our good days we have our bad days right now i'm trying to fight that bad day because my mom's birthday is coming up and and what cheers me up is when i blog yeah i like the little people that that follow me and it gives me my little comments and all like that and all and, and things and i like when i do my reaction on on folks but that 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 helps a lot with me and i like that i can talk and to you guys and to the people that are schizophrenic that follow me that that knows me and understands me because when i tell a person that it throws a person off big time they kind of step all the way back and look at you like dying you don't look like a schizophrenic no i don't no i don't i don't act like no schizophrenia but it's there it's there and it haunts you and I hear things, I see things that's not there, but I got them under control. And I know it. I have to sit back and think because sometimes that schizophrenia plays tricks on you. Because a couple of weeks, I think it was two weeks ago, yeah, I done walked away from him. I left him alone. I'm talking about something else now. I think it was two weeks ago, I was talking to my niece. I was talking to my niece and... And something just made me think about my uncle, my auntie's husband. And and I thought he was still alive. My schizophrenia mind trick played it on me. And I thought my uncle was still alive. And I asked her, I said, where is, I said, is Uncle Earl still alive? She said, I don't know, Sonia. I said, I'm going to have to ask my sister because my, my mind is playing tricks on me. And it got me thinking that my uncle is still alive and stuff and i had to sit back and not think and stuff and then it kind of messes my concentration so what's Stella? what baby what what's wrong you want to go back outside so i asked my sister the only one that i talked to because everybody else treat me real funny and stuff so i asked so i said Bobby is uh Uncle Earl. When did Uncle Earl die? Or is he still alive? She said, No, son. Uncle Earl been dead for so, so many years. It's been so long ago that he done died. I'm like, really? She said, Why? I said, because my schizophrenia been playing tricks on me and it felt like he's still alive. Or he ain't too long just died. She said, No. I said, when did he die? He said, She he died. I said, Did he die before Aunt Emma? She said, Yeah. He died way before her. I said, oh, okay, thank you. I just want to know. I said, she said, oh, okay. So, yeah, that schizophrenia plays a big part. And it, and I don't want to have been in a relationship and, and stuff like that happens. And the only way, that's if a person can really understand and handle me and wants to be there with me. But me, I'm not ready. I, I have a friend if they want to be friends or whatever, but I'm not ready for a relationship. Because my plate is full with my son and everything. And right now, me and him are decorating his room. I'm giving him a game. You no, know, he's a gamer. He loves games. He, it takes him away from a lot of things. Just like blogging takes me away from things. Games take him away from things. And he loves animation. He loves animated stuff. Him and my brother. Him and his brother, Jason. And... So, I found him the conference set, the gamer's conference set. There's a conference set. I had to buy some sheet set. The only thing that came with the conference set is real pretty. I'm going to blog it and everything went. The curtains will be here today. I got everything that match. But the carpet, the, uh, the rug was going to take forever to come. So, I said, I'll just go to Walmart and find him a nice, pretty rug, black rug to go in his room. But the curtains will be here today. Me. And my daughter-in-law gonna put the curtains up. We not ready. Wipe the walls down from little fingerprints and stuff from from my grandbaby and stuff in his room, and uh, made sure they was sparkling clean. And we put up the game sign on his door. Game in progress and stuff. Then the other game thing, I got I got the game signs and stuff from uh, five and below. And my, my son, my baby boy Jason, he bought him the animated poster. So we. Put up all the posters. He well, he finished putting up the posters yesterday, last night, and the little other stuff on the wall. It's real nice in there now. 
So the only thing we waiting on is his curtains. I went and bought him some pretty curtain rods to go with the curtains. And uh and I went and got the sheet sets, black sheet sets to match it because the comforter is kind of sky blue and black with the big old mo control in the in the uh, in the middle of the uh in the middle of the, on the comforter. And it's on the pillows and stuff too. And then it's all on the curtains, the mo control and stuff. And so we we did all of that yesterday. So I'm waiting on Amazon now. It's out on delivery to bring the curtains. So when the curtains come, we're gonna take the old curtains down and and stuff and put up the rod and the new curtains. And then tomorrow, Sunday, uh the comforter and stuff will be here tomorrow and everything. But yeah, his room is coming along perfect. And I know y'all guys probably was shocked to hear him finally speak. He well, he spoke a little bit at the doctor's office, and everything. But like I said, he he's slow learning. He got ADHD, and his speech is real. It's hard to understand if you don't if you don't live with him. You had to ask on time. I had to ask him. What you say, boo boo? I had to turn the stuff down or pause or whatever and listen to him because his words are real kind of slurry. And you had to listen to him. And sometimes his word, you can hear his words real good. And then sometimes you had to ask him to slow down some and speak clear, uh, a little slower so I can understand. And because when we was at uh, Olive Garden on for our birthday dinner, he was speaking. I guess he didn't want nobody to hear him talk. So he was kind of speaking soft to me. So I said, I can't hardly hear you, baby. Tell it to Jason. And so Jason can tell me what you were saying because he had like he was kind of shy there. He didn't want nobody to hear him talking. And stuff so Jason told me what he said and everything and I said oh okay but I don't like nobody to make fun of my baby because he got a, he got an illness and stuff and I don't like nobody to make fun of no kids that have mental illness and because and you never be ashamed don't never be ashamed of your child because they have an illness don't never be ashamed of it and because I I will talk about that on my reaction video about jazz because that's next and don't never be ashamed of your child because they have an illness because i'm not i was shocked that he had an illness when i found out but i learned about everything and i went to the, the the teachers and they helped me to learn about his illness and the doctors helped me and everything and i tell people about uh that he have an illness and stuff they wanted him to get a job i'm like he cannot get a job boo he he get frustrated when things go too fast or he don't understand he'll shut down and he started mumbling and stuff and he'll shut down but i'm not gonna be on here long so but uh i just had to get this off my chest and i hope you guys like this video comment subscribe if y'all went through something like this, just let me know. Don't be ashamed and stuff. Just tell me. Because I know there's a lot of women out here and stuff. They go through BSs with guys and shit and, and, and all like this. But I just had to get this off my chest. And I didn't help it in too dog alone. And like I said, enough is enough. But I hope you guys have a happy and safe Labor Day weekend. And... I will talk to you guys later. Bye.